Let's do this. I'm Courtney. And this is Power Strength. Today we're just using a set or a couple sets of weights. There's definitely exercises you will want to go heavier. So grab them all, gather them up, get your water, get your mat or something soft to go down on the floor on. And we are ready to rock this workout. I've got my butterfly suit on. I'm ready to go. Let's get warmed up. Shoulder rolls back, little shoulder rolls back. Here we go. I definitely need warming up here. It is quite chilly. We've recently had the time change. We will talk about that. We will discuss. Get your opinion. Get my opinion. Shoulder rolls forward. And I got on my butterfly outfit from Silver Wind. We'll talk about that. I'm working with Silver Wind now. Such a cute clothing company. Shoulder rolls back, big ones. Sustainable. They care about the ocean, the environment. Women owned. Roll it forward. Going into hamstring sweep. Sweep to two hops. Two, one, sweep it forward. Two hops. Just little bounces. Nothing serious. Just warming up slowly so that we don't get injured. Getting ourselves all lubed up, ready to go. We have 20 seconds. Looking strong already. Heading into windmills for eight. Into wide squats for eight. Eight and eight. In eight seconds. Lots of eight there. Four, three, two. Wide leg touch down for eight. Six, four, three, two. Bring it up. Wide squats for eight. Seven, five, three, two. Back to windmill. Let's go. Reach for that toe. Four, three, two, wide squat. Eight, seven, five, three, two, probably one more round for eight. Six, four, three, two, bring it up, bring it up. Eight, seven, five seconds, just keep squatting. Bringing it down, hands to the floor, walk it halfway out, come back, touch your opposite hand to opposite foot. Rocking back and forth. Warming up your shoulders. Stretching out your hamstrings. A little bit of a rocking motion. Also working those wrists a little bit. 20 seconds. Keep it going. Keep it rocking. We break up and you Coming up, we have... Right leg forward into a lunge in 10 seconds. Keep rocking. What the hell do we do this for? Five. Push you up to come back. Three. Two. Right leg forward, left leg back. Lunge it. You can just hold it down if you want, or you can bring yourself up. You can also drop your knee and reach up and down. Reach those arms straight up. Engaging your back muscles. Sinking a little lower in the hips now for four, three, two. Bring that left hand to the inside of your foot, right hand reaches up, twist. Hold it for three, two, and one. Bring both hands to the floor. Ten seconds. Bring it up, bring it up. Going in two. Downward dog pedal. Bring that right foot to the back. Downward dog pedal for four. Then come forward into high plank and just drop those knees toward the floor. And right back up. There you go. Good. Stretching out your calves. A little bit of core action when you drop your knees. Just feel that those abs engage. 20 seconds. Then we'll hit the other leg. Good. Always important with a warm up for if you want a full warm up to do a little bit of easier exercises. Four, three, two, left leg forward. 
keep it down or you can bring that chest up. You can also drop your back knee, reaching up and down. Easier exercise is standing, going back to our warm up. Then some exercises on the floor, followed by, if you haven't done to, some dynamic exercises standing and dancing. For four, three, two, one. Bring your hand to the floor, left arm up, reach, twist it up, hold it here. Four, three, two, and one. Both hands to the floor, straighten it up. Get the back of your leg. Two, one. Bring that front leg, back leg to the front. Come on up, punch it. Here's our dynamic exercise of standing. <laughs> twist, twist, twist. Now, you can keep it here with the punches or you can punch, punch knee. Punch, punch knee. Alternating sides. Looking great. Looking fierce, team. 20 seconds. Heart rate starting to come up just a little more. Heading into side lunges side lunges with a little hop in the center if you'd like. Five seconds. Two, one, side lunge, side to side. Try to get that booty back, pushing it back, bending that outside leg, and then pushing off that outside leg. Keep that chest up. Show me your smile. Great. A beautiful smile. Can you touch your fingertips to the floor? Still warming it up. Great work, 10 seconds. Last exercise of our warm up butt kickers. In three, two, kick it. Let's go. Come on, get those feet up. Can you actually feel your feet touching your booty in the back? Maybe. Strong athletic arms. Let's go. All right, let's speed it up just a bit. Good. 15 seconds. Our rate's looking good. Looking a little higher than when we started, yes? Four. Two. Rest. How'd we do? Great work, team. All right, warm up over. Grab some water, walk it around. Just stay loose. We go in 30 seconds. Starting with a lunge to knees. Holding the weights, we don't go for 20 seconds. Right leg only, back with a pulse, then drop to your knees, then come up, little pulse, stand it up. If you don't wanna drop to your knee, just give me a little pulse and in. Six, grab those weights, heavy weights. Three, two, here we go, big step back. Pulse, down to the ground. Not to worry if it's too much for your knee to go all the way down. Just do that little pulse and right back up. Little bit of a balance challenge to start with. Always incorporating a little bit of balance in every workout. So important for those stability muscles. That way when we're out in the real world, if we trip off a curb or something like that, we're not gonna injure ourselves for life. We're gonna catch ourselves because we've got the best balance in the business, right? 15 seconds. Eight. Let's go. One more, one or two more rounds. Three, two, rest it. Yes, all right. Get rid of those weights for now. We are down on our tummy. Swimmer push-up. So arms are coming around and then straight from your tummy, pushing up and down. Two, 
One, let's go around. Push up. You can always come to your knees to do the push up. Right? You don't have to go to your toes. Stick with me, I'll tell you all the ways to modify. Hopefully we'll remember throughout the workout. As you take my class more and more, you'll get used to exactly what to do when you don't want to go to the floor or you don't want to jump. 25 seconds to go. Reach those arms all the way around. We have 12. The goal is to try to bring your body up straight as a board. Right from the bottom all the way to the top. Five, three, two. Rest it. Stay on your knees, grab one weight if you'd like. Optional to use the weight. Knee lean, holding the weight if you're using it. Just leaning back and forward. Easy, easy. Two, one. Here we go, easy to explain, hard to do. So you can start by just leaning back a little bit. Once you get used to the movement, try to lean it back a little more. Right, Dale? She knows. Remember, it's supposed to be a struggle. It's supposed to be uncomfortable. This is one of those exercises where it's really up to you. Are you going to push yourself or not? You're going to push yourself, I know it. 25 more seconds to try. We got 15. Everybody lean back one inch further. There you go. Six. Three. Two. Rest it. Grab your weights onto your back. We will do that other side of the lunges after this. On your back, bridging up, we have a single reverse fly to a double. Here we go, we're on single, back to the top, both arms. Alternating sides on the single. Hips are up, hips are up. Try to relax your face. That's it. Pumping it up. Look at you. You're a fighter, for sure. 30 seconds. Stick with this. Maybe you can open up your arm a little wider, a little more toward that floor. 12. Come on, hips up, keep them high. Squeeze that booty. Three, two, one. Boom, hips come down, legs come up. Roll yourself on up to standing. Bring your weights with you. We've got that other side. Left leg now. Remember, your option to step out, pulse, step in, or you can go to the floor. Two, one, let's go. Here we go, all the way down. Remember that little pulse on the way down and on the way up. We have our first cardio coming up after this. Two exercises in a row, no break. Really gonna get that heart, rate, heart pounding. Big step back. Control. Focus. Great. Now, if you want to try these in the future or on your own and you're having trouble now, you can always hold on to a wall or a chair and hold just one hand. Two, one, rest it. I mean one weight. You know what I mean, right? <laughs> All right. Skaters with a hop. Side skate to a hop up. You can just do this without jumping or with jumping. Two, 
one. Let's go, let's skate it. Now, try to reach out further than you would if you were stepping, that is if you're jumping. Reach out further. Big movement to the side. Big jump up. Yes, 25 seconds. Going right into the next exercise with no break. It's twist to squat. This is the hardest one of the two. So let's push it. Eight. Four. Two. Twist it. Two twists to a squat. Two twists. Squat. Pushing those hips forward. Push them forward. <laughs> like a little dance, huh? 25 seconds, keep moving. Keep it dancing. Go. Good, Alma. 12. Come on, all the way. Five, three, two, one. Boom. You did it. Fantastic work. Get a sip of water. Walk it around. Push up to ankle touch in 13. One push up, one ankle touch. Opposite hand to opposite foot. You can do it on your knees and do a knee touch. All right, two, one. Let's go. Still breathing hard like me? Good, that means you worked hard on that cardio. These workouts, in my opinion, are so effective because we're working our strength, obviously, doing compound movements, working mo multiple muscle groups at once, and then with the cardio sets in between, keeping our heart rate up throughout 22 seconds. Improving our fitness by leaps and bounds here. We got 10. Four, one more set, two, ah, rest. How'd you do? Push-ups are always a killer, right? Stand it up, grab those weights. Heavy weights, heavy weights this one. We are doing one narrow row, standing up to a knee lift. Down to row, knee lift, we're on. Let's go. Think about your back, pulling those weights up. So your, your body is in two different positions. You're hinged over with your shoulders back and down, and then you're standing up straight for the knee lift. Trying to think about our abs, our lower abs, picking that knee up, along with our hip flexors, of course. But tighten up those abs as you pick up your knee. Good. 12. Now I'm warm. Oh, that's right, we were gonna talk about the time change. We will do that. Two, one, rest it. Keep your weight. We have got a deadlift. I'm gonna lift my leg. You can keep your leg on the ground or lift it and then bring it through to a lunge bicep. Lots of balance here. Here we go. You can also do it with one hand holding the weight and then one on the wall or a chair. Big step forward, then push back. The goal is to try not to let that foot Touch the floor when you push back. It's really tough though. 
always good to have a challenge. Every workout should have an exercise or two that you can't do that you need to work on that challenges you <laughs> in some way. Whoa there. 15 seconds. Oh. Whew. Let's go. Five. Three. Two. <laughs> rest. How did you do on the balancing? I know, it makes me laugh too. All right, down to your tummy. Superman, lift, extend. So hands on your head. Coming up, extending out, back to your head and down. Let's go. You can just lift your upper body or you can add those legs in as well. Try to give me an extra little lift as you bring your hands back to your head. Extra little lift before you hit, hit it down. So what is your opinion about the time change? We just have changed our clocks here. We spring forward an hour, 22 seconds, which means we have to get up an hour earlier or what feels like an hour earlier. 12. Good. Five, three, two, rest. Woo, that back, I feel it. Come on up, other side with the deadlift into the lunge bicep. You know your options. Both feet on the ground or one foot up or hold a wall. Two, one, let's go. Let's check your balance on this side. Is it better? Is it worse? This should be my good side. As I found out, I actually did a DEXA scan last week, which tells you your body fat throughout your body, your uh, muscle mass, your bone, something about your bones. Not really bone density, I don't know what it is. But it said that my left leg was significantly stronger than my right leg. I actually have two different leg lengths, in case you didn't know. 17 seconds, my left leg is shorter by quite a decent amount. 10 seconds. So I think that may be part of it. I don't know. Four. Two. Rest it. Cardio, okay, complicated one. Let's put our thinking caps on here. On our knees, come up, switch down, then to the other side. Switch, down. You can just do walk-ups if you want, or squats on top. If you don't want to go down and up, just stand up and do squat lifts. All right, I'm gonna stay facing one side now for my, for my health. So, try to switch while you're low. Boom, switch. Don't come up. Switch while you're low. That's where the, that's where the work is. That's where the challenge is. 20 seconds. Heading into, on our tummy, swimmers to mountain climbers. In 11. Let's go. Five, getting ready to drop to our tummy. In three, two. Tummy, swimmers, climbers, push up. Swim it. Climb it. Come on, pop up, right into those climbers. Go, go, go. Really working our back here. 20 seconds. Go. You got it, Ellie. Come on, push all the way. In five. Three, two, rest, yes, way to rock it, grab some water, crush that cardio, 
you look so darn good today. So fierce, so strong. All right, both weights. Medium sized weights. Medium, maybe even a little lighter. One reverse fly, one single arm raise. Two, one, we're already on, here we go. So quick, that break, right? 30 seconds goes by nothing, like nothing. If it's too much to do the arm raise, just take it out and do the reverse flies. Great, Kirby. Recovering that breath a little bit. While we move, we recover. 22 seconds. Once again, just killing that back today, yeah? Four, three, two, rest. Woo -hoo -hoo. Did you feel that? Woo. All right, tempo hammer curls. Heavy weights if you got them. Up fast, down three, two, one. Three, two, let's go up. Three, two, one. Up. There you go, you got it. All right, so back to the time change. It is pitch dark here right now. For me, it's 6.30 in the morning. Completely pitch dark still. It will get better. But this first week is always a killer. For me, it's hard to go to sleep on time. And getting up is just always tough for me. Actually, I am a morning person, thank goodness, but when you get up, you know, super, super early, it's hard for anybody, I think. But we'll get used to it. The nights are glorious, right? Staying lighter later. Four, three, two, rest. Walking triceps. Let's see if I'm on track here. Well, we're gonna do these walking triceps. Walking out, walking in. You can always stand in place and do it. Two, one, let's go. Let's see, oh, I'm on track, good. <laughs> Had a moment of doubt there. The question is, do we need to change our clocks? Can we just keep the same time year round? I know certain times of the year it would be hard in the morning because it would be pretty dark. And depending on where you live, really dark, right? If you're further north or something. I mean, Alaska, forget it. <laughs> I don't even know, does Alaska change their time? I know that like Arizona here in the United States doesn't change the time. I don't know if there's other states that don't. 15 seconds. Hinging forward to get that benefit of the gravity. Five, three, two, rest. Set one weight down, grab a heavy weight. You can always use two weights as well. If you wanna challenge yourself more, you can do two weights. I'm just gonna do one, leg super wide, coming down and then up to the top. Here we go, down to one side and then shoulder raise up. So if you are a person like me who likes workout prints, you'll love this brand, Silver Wind, that I'm wearing. I have two sets from them. This is the Orange Butterfly, the Glory set. 30 seconds. I also love that the clothes have so much style. You know, they're not just plain. Like the top is so strappy and cute. That's my favorite part. 12 seconds. I found them on Instagram, reached out to them, and we created a little collaboration. 
three, two, and I was like, wow, now those clothes are cute. All right, where are we at? Oh boy, other weight, drop squat triceps. You can always do regular tricep kickbacks. I'm gonna come through my legs, elbows dig into my thighs, and push it back. Here we go. Pushing it back through my legs, trying to stay low for the whole time. We're right here together, struggling together. It's also a great way to open up your hips a little bit, stretch out that back that we've been working. Fantastic work. Way to contort yourself, right? Getting into positions that might not be as comfortable as you're used to, a little awkward. But you know what? Sometimes in daily life, we have to put ourselves in these positions. I don't know about this exact one, but you never know, right? 17 seconds. Come on, 10. Keep pushing, keep staying low with me. Three, two, ah, rest, whoo, the sweat is pouring. All right, cardio, burpee, burpee, walking or jumping burpee, come up to a twist. You can also do a twist tuck jump. Two, one, let's go. I'm gonna do a regular twist. You can bring your legs up if you want extra challenge into a tuck. I will show you right here if you watch. I'm gonna stick with the mini twists for today. 25 seconds. Let's go. Try to keep your feet together as you twist. You got it. All right, let's see what's next here. On the ground, plank jacks, high to low, in five seconds. Into a plank. Two, one, plank jacks. Too high, too low. Back up. Good, good. Come on, keep that speed. Alternating your lead arm as you come down up. 22 seconds, tummy tight. That's what makes your legs go in and out quicker. Tight core. Go. 12. Push it with me all the way. Six. Three. Two. Rest. Oh, way to go. Wow, you're amazing. Grab your water if you'd like. We're on the floor, back on the floor. Onto your right elbow, 10 seconds. Right foot is facing forward, coming up, touching that toe. Two, one, let's go. You can do it with your hip on the floor, or you can just lift your hip up a little bit working a little more of that supporting leg as well as your shoulder. You can try a little of both. So, if you saw, so this, this, for me, this weekend, I'm running the marathon, I'm running a marathon. So I've been running a lot, and a few days ago, I filmed at the beach a couple workouts that I needed to do because one of them already came out once you see this. A mobility workout. 15 seconds. And anyway, I'll, I'll tell you. This is such a dumb story, but I'm just going to tell you. We distract us. Three, two, back, rest. All right, but before that, let's do this exercise. This is a complicated one. Grab your weight, medium weight. Come on up, right leg back with the shoulder raise. Then come forward, bring your weights to your chest. Bend that supporting leg and down. Here we go. Back, shoulder raise. Bring it in, bend, and down. You can just step it in if you'd like, just like this, and do like a little squat. 
if you don't want to do the one-legged, you don't feel sure about yourself, about it. Of course, we all feel sure about ourselves. Sure about your balance. I can be in there when your mind's away. Yeah. You can make it so I did this mobility workout at the beach. Part of my, my set of workouts I did. And saved that one for last. I wanted to hopefully make it super serene. Ooh, I don't know if I could talk while I do this team. It's too hard. Hold up a second. Seven seconds. <laughs> Two. One. My balancing skills are not on par today. All right. Triceps with reverse lunges. Stepping back, one foot at a time, one arm drops. Two, one. You can drop your same arm as leg or opposite, whatever is most comfortable for you. Try to keep that elbow, those elbows in. Trying not to arch your back. There you go. Great. So I was, <laughs> my body was super fatigued. That's amazing, Dad. <laughs> um, my body was super fatigued from all the running, from the workouts I just did at the beach. <laughs> 22 seconds, then I have this mobility workout. First of all, we do it a little later, so there's more people at the beach. So it's not quite as serene as I'd hoped <laughs> with the background. 10 seconds, <sighs> that's okay. Then I just know I'm gonna get a cramp, right? Two, one, rest. If you've seen it already, you know. You, you know what I'm gonna say. All right, we have that other side. Left leg back with the shoulder raise in to the bend. You know it, right? Two, one, here we go. So sure enough, sure enough, I get a cramp in the middle. But you know what? Most people would probably quit the workout and forget it, but you know what I say? Just like how I bobbled there, this is real life people. We're showing real life, real people. I'm a real person. I'm not perfect. I get cramps, I mess up. I fall over. So, of course, we left it in. Cramp and all. So, after this workout or some other time after another workout, you can do it. It's just a 10 minute mobility workout. Wanted to throw one in to the mix so that those of you can do one anytime after your workout. Four, three, two, rest it. Whew. Weights come down. Oh, that booty burns. On your left side, we're gonna get that inner thigh on your left. Left elbow, toe facing forward, foot is flexed. Come on up, tap that toe. Hips up or down, either one, or you can alternate like I am. If you saw that workout, by the way, um, oh no, 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 yesterday's workout, which was a cardio, I'm wearing the other set for Silverwind, the black one. You can tell me which one you like better. The orange butterflies or the black stars? 25 seconds. Also, they've given us a very generous discount code just for our team only, 20% off. I'll link it in the description. Courtney, 20. Eight seconds. Three, two, ah, woo! You feel it? Good, all right. Last cardio. Come on up, one big jump forward to a squat walk back. Staying low on the squat walk. Two, one, let's go. You can also do a big walk forward. You don't have to jump, or you can do squat walks forward and back. Big 
this is our final cardio team. More of a cardio strength set here. Oh, I was gonna use the weight with this, but that's okay. We don't need to. We are gonna use the weight with the next exercise though. 17 seconds, we'll pick up that weight super quick. Do a squat jack. Come on, big jump forward. Four, last one, three, two. Squat jacks, let's go, bring it down. Jack it up. Oh, those legs. <laughs> Feeling the burn. Chest is up, chest is up. Good job, team. We are so close to the end. 20 seconds. Come on. You got it. Almost there. Seven. Last push. Three. Two, rest, set that weight down. Whoa. Talk about a heart pounding cardio sesh. 16 seconds, abs on our back. Whew. Bringing our knees in at an angle, hips up a little. Extending out, then other side. Two, one. Let's go. <laughs> I'm always shocked. You think I wouldn't be shocked at how fast that break goes? See if we leave, we get 30 seconds. I can't. Now you can always put your hands under your upper booty for support. If you need it. Trying to keep that lower back on the floor. You can bring your feet up. And that helps keep your back on the floor. I know it's hard to try to relax your face. So much strain and struggle. You've got 10 seconds. A couple more each side. Rest, way to go. Roll it up, grab one weight. We're gonna do our glutes, give us a break from our abs, and then back to abs. Weight on the bottom, or the top of your thighs, really. Coming up, squeezing our knees together, and back down, here we go. Glute lift with a knee squeeze. We will pulse the knees the last 20 seconds. I think this is our only pulse today of the whole workout. We need to do a lot more pulsing. I love my pulsing, you know. <sighs> Hips come high, booty squeezes together. 10 seconds until we do that pulse. We are going to hold our booties up, squeezing the knees, pulsing them in. In three, two, bring it up, squeeze those knees, pulse, pulse, in, in, in. Yes, just two more exercises after this, two more hard ones before we stretch it out. Let's hope I don't get a cramp for this stretch out, but if we do, that's okay. Three, two, one, rest. Oh, roll it on up. And we have got an elbow plank. Travel to a walk up. So traveling over if you'd like, walking up and down, or you can just do walk ups. Two, one, let's go. It's just a little tiny step over. No need to strain your shoulders trying to get further on the step over. On the cool down, if I get a chance, I will get a chance. I'll show you what exercise I cramped up on. You're gonna know, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's one that we cramp, tend to cramp, cramp up on frequently. Those of us especially that are not as flexible as others. 22 seconds to go. 
This is gonna be it for shoulders. Back on our back after this. We've got 10. Four. Two. Ah, rest. Last one, team. Let's do it up. On your back, walk up. Legs come up for three, two, one, and drop. Three, two, one, let's go. Last one. This is it. As you drop those legs though, we're dropping our legs, we're not bringing our back up, right? Keeping that back solidly on the ground. Just dropping your legs as far as you can while keeping that back on the ground. I feel like we could make a magic trick out of this or something, right? Like one of those illusions. We just, over the weekend, we just watched that movie, it's old. The Prestige, have you seen it? I mean, 2007 old, 18 seconds. I had my older kids watch it. I thought they would love it. They were like, eh, 10 seconds. I like it. Five. Rest. Oh, bring those knees in. You did it. Amazing work today. Let's stretch it out. Stay with me for the stretch. Starting with our knees in, just rolling our ankles out, rolling them out, rolling them to one side, and then switch directions to the other side. And then just put your hands behind your knees or on your upper thighs lower thighs and rolling up and down Just a couple more roll-ups one more on the last one stay up to sitting bring that right leg out left leg in I will show you that exercise but I can't do it quite yet I got to get up to my knees first reach out for that toe Wow, how did we do? Incredible. You are incredible. You made it here and you worked it. Go ahead and bring that leg that's bent out and cross your other leg over and twisting toward the right. Sitting up straight before you twist and then twisting your body. Feeling the stretch in your hip, also your back. Good. And 10 more seconds here, we'll just head to the other side. One deep breath in, and as you exhale, try to twist a little more. Great, untwist yourself, come on out of it, and let's go to the other side. We did it, team. That was a good one, huh? Did you challenge yourself today? If so, tell me, comment, tell me how you challenged yourself. What did you maybe do differently? Also, you can comment, tell me about the time change. Bring that bent leg in, other leg across, twisting, lifting up, twisting over to the left. You can also remember to always like the workout, give us a heart then YouTube recognizes that people like us. People like us, people like our team. Hopefully you share our channel with your friends if you like it. All right, come on up to your feet, squatting down, extending up. Squatting down, extending up. I will show you that exercise where I cramped, so you know it though. Keep squatting and extending, you know it. It's where we reach around and grab our foot to give us a quad stretch. Hamstring immediately seized up. All right, come on up to standing. Big deep breath in, reach up and clasp your hands together, reach over to your right. 
and then drop that left arm. Give yourself a tricep stretch. And reach around if you can. Try to clasp your fingers just for a quick second. See if you can reach them. And release. Coming into another deep breath up. Reach up, clasp your hands, reach over to the left. And then drop that right arm into a tricep stretch. And reach your left arm around. See if you can clasp your hands in the back. Did you do both sides? It's okay if you didn't. Most people can't do it. It takes a lot of practice. Go ahead and release your hands. One more deep breath in. Reach up. And release that breath. Wow, wow, we did it. You are amazing, we are amazing. Incredible, you absolutely destroyed this workout. Way to go, and make sure you get out there, enjoy the rest of your day, be happy, enjoy the endorphins, spread them around, boost people up, and have a great one. I'll see you for the next workout. All links are in the description. Check it out. Good job, team. You rocked it.